what's going on everyone we are about to get into some drama some tea that's been going on this week before we start make sure you guys subscribe and like because what are we about to get into some things <laughs> Now, you know I had to do my little one too and get my research going, child. So, we're going to talk about a few things. First off, Sukihana. First, the first bitch to the motherfucking stand is Sukihana. So, Miss Sukihana, she decides to put on Twitter um, and says, I don't know what made me feel like it was okay to eat a man's ass. Because she be eating niggas ass she is a very pretty girl but i also think she's very ignorant um such as the situation when she went to london why the fuck was you out there in front of them caucasian people them people was gonna put you behind bars girl what what made you feel like that suki what made you want to come on the internet you know yesterday and say that because you already done said it so why are you trying to go back on your word girl you be eating niggas ass we all know that's what you will forever be known as a bitch that likes to eat ass. So, I mean, girl, why you want to go back now? Bitch, you already done dug the grave. Oh, go ahead and lay in it. Lay down. I just wanted to get y'all a little uh, take on that. How do y'all feel about that? Y'all y'all still think she be eating that ass? She still be eating that ass. She be getting up in that ass. Sniffing it and licking it. Mm-hmm. Girl, man. Bitch, you still be eating ass. Next, since we talking about uh, freak leaks, Miss Brittany Renner says she has slept with 35 people. Now, I don't know if this is men or women, but that is 35, bitch. 30 motherfucking five. First off, you already looking like Mariah the Scientist. So, bitch, you got my girl fucked up already. Bitch, you need to uphold yourself when it comes to my girl because y'all look too much alike. I've had sex with 35 guys. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Oh Lord. <laughs> Impressive isn't Woo. the word. So if I'm judged for Anybody having. Anybody else need a shot of this? If I'm judged for having great taste. We are in the bar, so. If- 35, bitch. 30 motherfucking five is crazy. How old is Brittany? Let's, let's look it up. You are 31 years old. You almost hit. You, well, you passed the number of your age. Damn, bitch, 35 is crazy. Bitch, you mean to tell me you done slept in a bed with 35 different motherfucking people on different motherfucking sheets. Bitch, you done been through silk sheets, cotton sheets, and whatever other sheets there is. And bitch, you have been laying that motherfucking punani down on these niggas. And maybe girls, I don't know what you into, girl. But my whole thing is this. I won't be ever drinking after you, ever smoking after you. <sighs> what are we sentencing? What, what, what are we gonna sentence Miss Brittany to? What are we sentence her to? We gonna sentence you to um, some sex therapy. She, she might need to go on a, a motherfucking new season of sex education and go talk to oldest mama, bitch. Cause thirty five is crazy. But anyway, we're going to move on to this next topic, y'all. So, next we're going to talk about is K-Michelle. Uh, Big Mouth, Donkey Kong, Donkey Teeth, K-Michelle decided to... You know, I think K-Michelle's a pretty girl, but she decided to come out of her motherfucking veneers and say... Uh, well, I don't know if... Let's see if she has veneer. Does K-Michelle have veneers? She definitely has some of the best veneers. Google is saying she has the best of the best veneers so that bitch can bite through a motherfucking uh, brick anyway she decides to come out of her chompers um, and say that Nicki Minaj stole a song from her and not only did she say that Nicki Minaj stole a song from her she also said that she um, Nicki Minaj made her you know take off a chain that Meek Mill allowed her to wear back in the day my whole thing is this why why y'all just now want to bring up shit when her album is around the motherfucking corner that's what motherfucking pissed me off ain't nobody talking about no K Michelle ain't nobody talking about no K Michelle so you know w- what made you want to even go on that motherfucking uh show and say that now when Nikki come and, and, and eat your ass up it's oh she a bully See, y'all see what I've been talking about, but we're not going to even go on, because I don't want to make this whole thing about Nikki. This, um, go around on this podcast, we're going to talk about a plethora of things. Um, 
but yes i just thought that was very weird it was giving very much fangirl it was just very odd that you're talking about a lady that doesn't ever ever i have never seen this lady speak on you so it was just very weird anyway next we're going to be talking about the well last lastly we're because i didn't want to make this long lastly we're going to be talking about zeus network zeus has recently been flopping i feel like jocelyn's cabaret is ass i feel like the new baddies is ass let's let's talk about the scotty fight that's that's what the main tea about this zeus topic is scotty bitch that hoe whooped you out your motherfucking bob bitch we seen the beat the beats under the bob we seen your motherfucking cornrows or whatever the fuck you had up under that bob that that ground beef because you know your new growth looking like ground beef girl you sat there kept trying to fight that girl and she whooped your ass scotty with the motherfucking body you tiny bob wearing bitch <laughs> You really disappointed me. I, you claimed that you was going to come to this season showing your ass, doing your big one. I'm very disappointed in you, but you can only expect so much. <laughs> you only expect so much from Scotty. She was not ready for that ass whooping that girl laid on her. That hoe came out of that fight with a whole different hairstyle. That was the Bob and Weave 3000 on her motherfucking head when she came out of that motherfucking fight. That was the Civil War Bob. That was that Lord Farquhar Bob. She knocked your Bob down a few inches, girl. You really disappointed me. Don't do it again. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the podcast. Um... I just wanted to come on here and give you guys the weekly tea. You know, I'm going to be filling you guys in like I used to on TikTok. But make sure you guys subscribe and like. And I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye, y'all.